So today we're gonna to take a minute to talk about the chuck flap. So the chuck flap is actually one of my favorite cuts because it has so much marbling in here. You can actually see all that marbling inside this chuck flap. That marbling is what gives this cut its tremendous flavor. Because the serratus ventralis muscle is the primary muscle found underneath the chuck short ribs, and it's the only muscle found here on the chuck flap, they actually are a very good alternative uh, between the two. If you simply remove the bones off of the chuck short ribs, you'll end up with a cut very similar to the chuck flap. Let's bring in Chef Peter to talk about some different ways to cook the chuck flap for some different merchandising ideas. Chef Peter, what did you bring for us today? Today we bought three great merchandising opportunities from the chuck flap. The first is a Denver steak, the second is a uh, skewer type application, and the third we did a low and slow uh, braising type application. All three are going to result in really nice tender cuts and great opportunities. So let's start with the steak option that you have there, Chef Peter. That is probably one of the most common cuts that we get questions about at our culinary center. The Denver steak actually is a cut that comes from the chuck flap, and it's cut really thin, about a quarter of an inch. You can see those right here. This paramount that you cut this uh, quarter inch thick, one of the reasons is it cooks really fast, is it eats better as a medium than it does as a rare. And uh, what you want to take into consideration is the time and temperature. So you want to take it off about five to seven degrees less than what you want it to be because it's going to carry over cooking. However, it's going to end up being a beautifully tender, moist steak. So the Denver steak I commonly see on menus is like a, a steak and eggs type of a dish. Is that something that you would think would work well? Absolutely. Great breakfast steak, really good for a surf and turf type application. Uh, the, the speed at which the steak cooks is probably its uh, best uh, opportunity for you to merchandise it. Some other ways to uh, use that steak is pairing it with a great side. Sides are really important when you are um, presenting a, a dish. And today what we have with the uh, Denver steak is a green chili bacon harmony. And the combination of those two is exceptional. Let's move on to your skewer dish. Those skewers are actually cut very similar to how we cut our Denver steaks. Our Denver steaks are cut at about a quarter of an inch, but those skewers we cut a little bit thinner, only an eighth of an inch thick, to make sure they're optimally tender when our consumers go to eat it. These skewers are a money maker. We got very little meat on a skewer, fast cooking, and we paired it with an Indian flavor. We got a green chili uh, mango chutney, and it's mildly spicy, delicious. Yeah, so that looks like probably about a half an ounce a piece. So when you bring those three pieces in there, you're talking about very little meat on a dish that you could probably charge a pretty good premium for at a restaurant. So let's talk about this braised dish. That actually came from the whole chuck flap, correct? Correct. And did you cut it before you cooked it or after you cooked it? I did not cut it before. I cooked the whole uh, chuck flap and then portioned it into uh, sizes approximately four to five ounces. The key to this application is low and slow. The end result is you take in a cut that goes from tough to tender, and in the end, it becomes fork tender. So not only is this dish very tender, but it's also gonna be very flavorful because of the marbling that comes along with the certified Angus beef brand. The chuck flap is hugely uh, versatile. One of the things I like about it is I use beef as an ingredient. When I do menu planning, I look for three different applications minimum off of a cut. However, the chuck flap has multiple applications. We're gonna show you a couple more in a second. I have two more options for you here. The first is the uh, chuck flap braised, and we're in a beautiful broth. We got some onions and celery, carrots, uh, some thyme, peppercorns and bay leaf, and some garlic. And you put it into the oven and just continue braising it. One of the key points on this is that you want to get it to a temperature of about 195 to 200 degrees and there's going to be a carryover temperature of about another 10 degrees or 5 degrees in that range and that's going to be the perfect situation for it to be fork tender. So this is more like a family type option for this particular dish? The way we served it like this it would be. Uh, we're going to have multiple options coming off of it afterwards. As an example, pulled beef sandwich. Basically we used the chuck flap which was fully cooked it stripped down so tender it just uh, fell apart. Uh, tossed it with a little bit of barbecue sauce and you got a great barbecue sandwich. Along with that, we put some fried onions and a delicious coleslaw. So chef, if we don't have the time or the resources to commit to making some of these low and slow type applications, why don't you tell us about some of the value added products that Certified Angus Beef Brand has to offer? 
You can always get the short rib application from one of our VAP processes. One of the greatest things, and I look at it from a chef's standpoint, is that this is a time saver, a labor saver, and fully cooked, uh, comes fully cooked, all you need to do is heat it and serve it. Perfect every single time. Along with that, it gives you the opportunity to do multiple uh, things with it and stripped it and made a beautiful barbecue sandwich with some coleslaw and some onions.